I would like to introduce you to a new website which organizes Blender add-ons and other resources better, in my opinion, than anything else on the web. I am a little bit biased because this is my website, it is a CG dive project, but if you give me a minute of your time, I'll show you exactly how it works and you decide if you like it or not. So let's go. I'm trying to make the site as simple as possible. This is the top page and right away it will show you the main categories. Right now we have a lot of rigging and animation stuff, but I've also started covering nature, blender physics, character creation and more categories are coming soon. Now let's say that you are a rigger and you're looking for add-ons to improve your workflow. Easy, you would go to rigging and let's say that you're interested in weight painting. It should be obvious, go to weight paint and vertex groups and here you'll find all add-ons related to weight painting that I know of. If you know of any add-ons that I haven't listed here, then let me know. One easy way is to use the new resource link here and just fill out this form. So the superpower of this website is that it allows you to get to a highly specific collection of Blender tools with only two clicks. And I'm trying to make these collections as unbiased as possible. You will find free add-ons and paid ones which you can clearly say on the free or paid tag under each tool. We even have some basic filtering, so you can see only the free add-ons or only the paid ones. The default is free and paid. And also these are tools from all over the web. They can be hosted on Blender Market, Gumroad, GitHub or custom websites. It doesn't matter if it belongs here in this category, for example, it should be here. So from here, if you want to know more about a particular tool, you have two options. You can click on this link, which is exposed here. Just click on it and it will take you to the download or purchase page of the tool. And also, if you click on the card itself, inside you may find a short article about the tool or additional resources. For example, here you will find my tutorials about this tool. Now, most of these articles will be empty right now. That is because it's just a lot of content to go through. So over time, I hope to add articles and resources inside. But for now, I think the collections and the links are already useful enough. So I hope you like what you see so far, but let me try to drive this point even further. Um, let me try to explain why I think this is better than what we have on other websites. So I'll take Blender Market as an example. I'm not trying to disrespect Blender Market. I like it and I use it all the time. But let's go to add-ons here and go to rigging so that we can make a somewhat fair comparison. Next, I'll click on explore all rigging add-ons. And right off the bat, the first product that I see is cloth generation. That is not exactly what I imagine is rigging. Then we have block surfaces, which looks more like a modeling tool. We also have a fake liquid add-on, which I kind of understand why it's here, but still it is not what I imagine when I hear rigging. And even the actual rigging add-ons are all over the place. We have a toolbox of rigging tools, we have shape keys, we have outer rigging, some sort of rigging utility, lattices, and so on and so forth. Okay, and that is why I believe on my website you can really tune in to exactly what you're looking for and find the tool that you need. And once again, I want to emphasize that I'm not criticizing Blender Market or the developers of these tools. In fact, I'm talking to a lot of them and they are really awesome. This is just how organization seems to be done by default. And so I'm trying to offer a better alternative with my website. So in summary, the main benefit of this new resource site is that it allows you to discover Blender tools quickly and easily through highly specific categories. A possible disadvantage of this site is that it may not contain all of the tools that you'll find on, let's say, Blender Market. Especially right now, because I just started working on the site, I believe there are around 500 listings right now, whereas Blender Market probably has tens of thousands. But the goal is that the things that you do find here are going to be highly relevant to what you're looking for. I'm going to keep showing you around the site just to cover all of the features that we have so far, but some of you may already want to just check out the site. To access it, just go to addons.cgdive.com or you can go to cgdive.com slash addons 
and that will redirect you to the same site. Or if you forget the link, you can also go to cgdive.com and in the top menu, I've added a new link to Blender add-ons. If you click on it, it will take you to the resource site. I believe navigation around the site is very simple and intuitive. You just go to the top page, decide what you want to focus on, let's say animation, and then choose your subcategory and take a look at the available tools. There is also this side menu, which is always available. So at any point, if you want to switch to another main category, you can do it from here. Here is the nature category, and you can also go to home, which is the top page. There is another home button here, and also the logo will take you to the top page. If you want to know more about the site, you'll find some info here, as well as contact and a way to add a new resource. I'll talk about this in a second. And we also have some CG Dive links. So if you want to know more about CG Dive or find our other projects, they'll be here. Here in the corner, you can switch to a light theme, but I personally like the dark one and it is the default. And that's it really. Nice and simple is the way I like my websites. Now let's talk about adding a new resource. You cannot really add a new resource, but you can suggest it. And you can do it here from site info, new resource, or from this button here. And also at the bottom of every page, there is this link to suggest a new resource. So I have it in as many as three places. Uh, that is because I really hope that people will engage with the site. You will suggest new tools and that is how the site will grow organically. If you click any of these links for a new resource, you can fill out this form, the name of the resource, a link to it that is very important. And then optionally, you can write a description of the tool. You can even go ahead and write a short article. And if it's not too biased, I'm happy to publish it. That helps me a lot with the site. And also leave your email address if you want me to get back to you. Then click submit. It doesn't matter if you're the creator of an add-on or just the user of the add-on. Either way, you're welcome to suggest it here. And if you really enjoy the site, you can help it grow by spreading the word about it. It is becoming more and more difficult to be noticed by Google. So I believe word of mouth is more important than ever. You know, if someone is looking for auto riggers, just tell them about addons.cgdive.com and then they can come to rigging, auto rigging. And I can guarantee that almost anyone who comes to this area will find something new, something that they didn't know about. These are links that I gathered over many years and I'm adding new ones all the time. For example, this one is brand new. Retargify is also very new. I may review it soon. If you're still around, I just updated the site and I created these additional resources section. So what is the deal with that? The main categories are meant to be an unbiased list of resources. I just try to organize the resources that I find. But down here, you'll find resources that I have reviewed and that I recommend. So if you click on tools reviewed by CG Dive, you'll find this list. And if you click on any of the cards, you should find my tutorials somewhere on the page. And then we have recommended Blender courses. People sometimes ask me what kind of courses I recommend. Uh, especially for animation and manual rigging. So this section just makes my life easier. I can send this link and you will know what I recommend. I almost forgot to mention the search function because generally it is not how I imagine the user experience on the site. But the search is available here. Just click on it and start typing and you can find any add-on or tool as long as you know its name. For example, I can start typing retargeting and maybe I can check out this tool here. But personally, I like to go to the home page, to the top page, and then go to mockup and retargeting, then retargeting tools. And I want to check out and compare all available tools of this type. So that is it. Check out addons.cgdive.com. I hope it will help you discover many interesting and useful Blender add-ons and tools.